And you stop following me, please, but enjoy your fire. I'm going to go hit the statue for a while. Oh, he didn't stay on fire. Uh, yep, that'll work. Second statue is down. And, uh, that guy's not having a great day. Do I have to fight this thing now? We should be able to have some fun with this one. Step number one, remove the shackles. Apparently, I can just take those off because shackles. Then we investigate the corpse, take all of his stuff, including a lockpick, which we use to escape, which leads us to our very first very terrible weapon, an iron bar. And I think that's going to be just the beauty of this game, and this grinding to find better equipment and upgrade our character. Before we get to all that, cold blooded murder. This guy has to die for no reason other than he's in my way. And we get a shiv, which does 14 piercing damage instead of 12 crushing damage, and whatever. Let's try that because it's pointy. I'm really gonna have to pay attention at times to find things like these traps. If you step on those, they mess up your legs. You can't walk. Your guy's unhappy. It's not good. Peasant sash. All right. You know what? We just gotta find enough dead people and we'll be able to outfit ourselves really nicely. Nice of them to connect the gel with the supply room. That way when I break out, I can get everything I need. Ether, bandage, drugs. So here's my body. My right leg is the one that's hurt. I think we can use one of these to fix the leg and then we're happier there but then something else happens we're in pain we have a mild leg injury still and we just picked up what's called a doublet no idea what that is but we're gonna wear it because whatever yeah and i think we probably need to drink some of this to clear the pain now we're only intoxicated now what do we use to clear intoxication these removes poisoning does that make sense uh clumsy for 30 seconds but i did remove it so yeah i think that worked jackpot not only do they put all this stuff beside the dungeon but they just leave it completely unguarded normally i'd go with this big ass sword to do maximum damage but I really, really don't want to get hit and mess up my legs anymore because that's just going to really annoy me. So uh, we're going to go something like that. Sword and shield. Found another enemy in the hallway. So we're just going to go straight at him. I don't think I have any other options anyway. I guess I could have bow and, bow and arrowed him. But you know what? We'll just do it the old fashioned way. Hopefully that didn't hurt my leg too bad. But that was our first of many level ups. We can upgrade some of our things. I think strength and agility which is going to give me damage and evasion and critical chance. So I just need to find an enemy to grind a thousand times over to get all the levels I need. This one looks fun. Manshire Fortified. Makes you drunk, but gives me thirst, pain, morale. And a book on a table I'm supposed to read. And we get Fire Barrage, Ring of Fire, something else. Yeah, I can read that quick. So under my many skills tabs, going all the way down, Pyromancy. Look at all the fun things we have to play with. Um, okay, this one then it is. And there it is, number two. First chance I get, I'm going to fire number two at the enemies. Oh, okay, speaking of enemies, uh, here you go. All right, well, that works pretty good. That's going to help me keep my distance because I don't want anything to touch me. There is a cooldown. i got to move a few times before, but... Yeah, this is going to work pretty good. I'm going to like this combination. He was guarding a monastic book. Whatever that means, we're going to give it a read. Are these valuable? What's anything worth? 8, 20, 70, 250? One. Okay, well, the book can go, but anything valuable, we're going to keep. Diary page. I'm not here to read. I want to stab things with my sword. Another diary page. Just give me some gear. And we got identification scroll and identification scroll. And a whole bunch of books to read. I actually have to... Is there a quick way to do this? Look how much they're worth. $450 for Ed. Oh, that one's $500. Okay, so we probably don't need the shackles anymore. I'm sure I'll find some kind of idiot to buy these off me. I need a backpack. Can we get one of those, please? Definitely didn't expect to fill up my inventory so fast. Might regret this, but I'm going to leave the bow and arrow behind. In two rooms, I'm probably really going to wish I had that, but for now, we're committing. Right away, I don't love this floor because I'm in very close quarters to this thing, which is going to hit me as soon as it can and probably hurt me pretty badly. Can I just run by it? Is that an option? Nope, it's literally blocking my path. Maybe I can. Nope, can't avoid it. All right, we're going in to fight it. Need some fireballs. Please die and don't hurt me. It's dead. Didn't take too much health. Only three damage, actually. Chest, please have something amazing. Uh, Let's pick it. And okay, we got some stuff. Old shirt, which isn't as good. That belt's probably better, though. Leather belt, it sure is. Leeches that fix body parts. They add pain, but they take away so much other stuff. Okay, those are awesome. And was that my old shirt? Didn't realize the enemies would leave their room to come to me. So yeah, we're going on the run. Don't worry. If it can't catch me, it can't hurt me. We're just going to keep the fireballs on it as long as we can. Hopefully it can't catch me. Fireballs. And run away again. There we go. Uh, I'm not going to step in that because traps really hurt. And I assume walking through fire, not a bright idea. But we leveled up. So two more points into those things, then we'll find a proper skill. I think for now I'm going to upgrade my fire power. When a bolt from fire barrage connects with a burning enemy, the duration is prolonged by one turn. And that overall just makes my fire stuff more powerful. Do I have to... Oh... Okay, I didn't even see that guy over there. You... Out of range? Um... I didn't know I could fire it at my feet. That's so stupid. I didn't want to do that. I would have fired it at him or waited my turn. Now, we'll hit him with the upgraded fire. Okay, he died. I think one shot. And the ground's not even on fire. We got us another chest. I really gotta pay attention though, because enemies do come from elsewhere. 
as in shoes. Garbage. Now we're getting somewhere. Undefined sword. That's probably going to be better than mine. So let's go ahead and apply some identification to it. Use this on this. Please be an awesome sword. 21 slashing damage. It's not a lot better, but it's better. And that can go there. Don't need that. And mysterious potions will hold for now. I was literally standing on a trap that entire time. What just happened? Now look how beat up I am because I was standing on that apparently and couldn't do anything about it. What? What, what's happening? Can I not move right now? Severe leg injury. That would be the problem. Yep, that's a bad one. Gotta keep an eye out for these traps. Need to remember they exist. So the leg is better. We'll go ahead and throw some leeches on there. No? Doesn't like the leeches? We'll just go ahead and use up some bandages on it then. That's what they're here for anyways. Gotta make these things go away. That way I can walk and not suffer. And bandages separately to stop it from bleeding. Okay, that took the bleed away. Now it's just a mild leg injury. And will the leeches work now? I think the leeches will like the bleeding more. Okay, those do work. So for 30 turns, that's going to heal itself. If I understand that correctly, we're going to walk around the trap and go to the bookcase. All for nothing. That was worth sacrificing my leg for. Literally taking like three steps at a time and then checking for traps again and again. This room has two chests in it though. More leeches and enchantment scroll which could upgrade something. I'm tempted to upgrade this sword but I'm going to wait just a little bit to see if we can find something better. Since we've got another scroll of identify, let's see if this axe is any good. I, It's green so I'm not sure if green is probably one up from white. And we're going to stick to my sword. Hopefully we'll find something even better soon. More potions that I don't think I want to deal with. Basic gloves on the shelf. Don't even have any of those. Hopefully... What just hit me? Anyways, uh, what is this? Repair kit. Nothing really needs to get repaired, but, you know, we'll use some of it on there because we can. So I can light the ground on fire and walk the enemies into it, which is interesting. So that's going to save me a lot of trouble. Whoops. Didn't mean to walk so close to this guy. Please don't hurt me. Just die. Oh, I don't want to stand here and do this with any enemy. Oh, an unidentified mace. Even that it's a mace, I don't really want it. Any traps in here I need to know about game? Got some boots that are a little bit better. One protection. I'm taking protection anytime I can find it because I don't want damage. Found a hood that should help me with some of my magical stuff. Extra magic power, arcanistic power, spells energy cost, blah blah blah. These are the kind of things I think I'm going to want. As I approach the stairs to the next floor, I'm feeling optimistic. Look at all those buffs. The tremors are coming from upstairs, blah blah blah. Lucky for me, there's stairs going up after taking stairs down. How's it going? Rough day? Got anything I can have? Oh, you do. This gives me three protection, so I'm going to use it for now. I need to do, like, stay alive more than I need to do damage right now. Same with his shirt. Much better than mine. That can go over there. Uh, old contract. Great. I'm sure that's important. Really wish I knew whether or not it was worth it to carry these books. They have a value, so I'm assuming someone can buy them, but we'll find out. Blue potion unidentified. I wish I'd identify some of these potions to see what they do. I'm carrying them around. What do you do? Accuracy. Oh good, another very close range room where enemies are right up in my business right away. And I missed them. Can I get around the table? That idiot dropped my very first ring, so let's see what these do. As soon as I find some room for it. You go on the ground for a sec. Give me this. Uh, all sorts of resistance and cooldown stuff. Whatever that guy is looks stronger than what I've been dealing with. Out of range. How far can I shoot this? Okay, well, we're going that far. He's gonna walk into my fire. Oh, there's two of them now too. Uh-oh. This isn't good. And now I'm in a straight up firefight with these guys because I don't really have a choice. They followed me into this room and I can't get any range from them. I'm going to have to stand and fight this guy and just really hope it dies before I do. Time to get out of the way. Kate, move. Wow. Okay, he exploded, but I need healing really bad. Also need to kill this rat because as I heal, it's attacking me. Okay, now we can sit back and heal. Nothing a few little leeches won't fix. I think for now, since I'm liking the magic so much, we're going to go agility and willpower. Willpower is going to give me extra magic power. Then I'm going to take ring of fire, ignite surrounding tiles, dealing 11 fire damage, whatever. And uh, maybe this one actually, baptism by fire. Nope. We'll be taking this one. Deals 13 fire damage to each target in its area of effect. I'm going to start to drop some of these books just so I can carry stuff that's useful immediately because I feel like I'm going to need stuff now rather than later. A green metal helmet sounds pretty good to me. Do I have any identify things? Which one is it? Identification. Perfect. Use that on here and we have a better helmet, but it's also cursed. That's okay. I can uncurse it using this one. Now it's just a regular helmet, but all that good stuff. Found the way up. Just got to decide if I want to finish this dungeon or head on up to what's hopefully the open world again to find something new. Maybe a merchant to unload some of this stuff or buy some better stuff. Imagine that. Did find a better sword in one of these chests. Uh, it does more damage, so we're just going to go ahead and use it based on that. One more level up, one more willpower, one more agility. And I'm going to unlock Melting Ray because who doesn't want a Melting Ray? Hopefully the next floor isn't insanely hard. Oh, I think we're finally getting out of here into the open world. Abbot's Note. Um, uh, no thanks. I stab things for a living. I'm not really big on reading. Oh, I got another buff. I think this guy's been possessed, and that sounds like a him problem. I was gonna kill him either way. Oh, do I have to fight him? Out of range? What do you mean out of range? Oh, it's gotta be like that. Okay, we'll hit him with the other one then. Am I supposed to run away? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, destroy the statues. I can read, I swear. 
Did that work? I'm not sure if that worked. Okay, we're gonna step out of that stuff and hopefully kill the statue. And I took something to heal and died. He killed me like instantly. I have no idea what even happened. This time, I'm just gonna go smash his statue with, with my sword. I assume that's what it's gonna take to win. Let me pop his blood up everywhere. Good. Yep, so far so good. Got one of the statues down. It's mostly just a matter of avoiding his blood floor attack, which isn't that hard if I'm paying attention, which is asking a lot. Also, let's light this on fire before we get any closer. And you, stop following me, please, but enjoy your fire. I'm gonna go hit the statue for a while. Oh, he didn't stay on fire. Uh, yep, that'll work. Second statue is down, and uh, that guy's not having a great day. Do I have to fight this thing now? Well, he's got no idea. I've got a burn ray. Melt ray? I can't remember what it was called. It's probably not a lot of fun to get hit by, though. Also pretty low on mana, so have some little fireballs for now while I figure out what to do next. I'm just gonna try gingerly hitting it a few times, uh, getting out of the way of that. As my man is not recharging very quickly, and that's kind of annoying me. I'm gonna do something straight stupid and drink the blue potion, assuming it gives me blue stuff. Nope, that seemed to help my health a little bit though, so I'm gonna hit you with the sword and then move on. And the game may have just crashed because I think he was supposed to hit something but didn't. So now I'm just sitting here waiting. Can I eat something to like pass a turn? Oh yeah, there we go. A uh, few fireballs and he's finally dead. Oh, give me what he dropped. I don't care about these guys, I want the purple thing. And that is the stone shard, which is the name of the game, so that's gotta be important. I was hoping there'd be something I could use though. Finally made it out to the big, bright, sunny world. Now nah, we're getting somewhere, not really sure what's happening. Take me to a shop so I can buy stuff. Oh, I should have probably read that. Gotta pick a character. I think we're gonna go with him, Berserker Frenzy for each enemy killed, 15% weapon damage and 20 crit efficiency for 10 turns, swords, maces, shields, etc. I know I was going to go with magic, but now that we're out in the open, things have changed. And I finally got the map. To save the game, you need to rent a room. Now I can start to save. And yeah, you know what? That's cool. I didn't want all that stuff I was collecting anyways. And he sells foods. Lots and lots of foods. None of which I want. I want to go start grinding, but I also need to save. You know what? Before I talk to the elder, I want to go elsewhere and start grinding up some stuff or getting some experience. I'm really done with talking to people. There has to be things to kill out here in the world. For a short skill, basically 20% weapon damage if my durability is 75% or more. And then Honed Edge, each sword strike grants you 5% bleed chance for 4 turns. The only thing I found so far here are mushrooms. Not sure if they're worth picking up or taking, but we'll find that out eventually. Finally, someone to murder. Well, let's find out how strong I am and how strong that guy is. Not too bad. And this guy's bald. He's got no chance. There we go, took his head right off. Now he's not bald anymore. I know the bandits technically uh, attacked his wagon, but if I take this stuff... Yeah, whatever. Found what appears to be an enemy encampment, so that's where the good stuff will be, obviously. So let's uh, pull them back into the trees and deal with them over here. I think I have them separated enough that I should be able to just roll through them pretty easily. Oh, they're taking a lot of health. Hey, okay, uh, archer guy, please don't hit me again. There we go, and one more. There we go, now we got a bow and arrow, a dumpling of all things. Not too much here, but there's gonna be something inside. What have we got? So far, just an angry man. That's alright, I'm also an angry man. Let's see which one of us is angrier. And he's dead. Alright, there's gotta be some treasure in here somewhere. Looks like we got us a mild head injury. Let's see if we can fix that up. Okay, not allowed to use those. What is this one? Lockpick. Leeches fix my head? Yeah, there we go. He just covered my head in leeches and problem solved. Just killed who I assume was the boss of this place. He dropped me a club, which isn't really that great, but also a purse because he has a purse. And be used to store coins. No kidding. So 29 coins can go into my purse? Okay, cool. Yes, my friend. Who are you? What can I do for you? Can I have your stuff? My reward is garbage. How oh, nice of him. I haven't been finding that stuff in barrels all along the way. You were worth saving, that's for sure. Ooh, what is this? Unlock some nice earth magic using this. Uh, okay, sorry friend, but uh, yeah, I don't want your bread. We're taking the book because that's worth $600. I did this whole tower for a bunch of garbage food from that idiot in a book that I don't want to use. And nighttime is a thing too. We're going to head back and try and find a shield and maybe sell some stuff and buy some stuff. First things first, let's sell some of these pelts. They're worth some money and apparently not that much. Here's the guy I should have found first, the blacksmith. And he's got so much money. So I'm going to sell him everything I possibly can. Then we're going to buy everything I can from him. First things first, let's just get a shield. He's only got one, but I need one. I might as well have one if I'm going to be using a one-handed sword. Can help keep me alive. As far as the swords go, there's only one that's a little bit better and it's not that much better. Not worth a thousand gold in my opinion. Now we're getting somewhere a golden tooth and body parts. So maybe they're worth something to someone. And be ground into bone dust. I don't want extra work. I want valuables I can sell now. Found a wheat field. There's got to be a farm. Yep, somewhere here. Maybe I can pillage this. Probably allied to the neighboring town, but you know what? 
if no one sees me, it's okay. And he's got nothing of value and I can't seem to hurt him. Found the merchant stall I needed to find because now I can sell my book, which is only worth 90 gold to this guy, but I'll take that. Finally found the wolves I've been hearing howl for the last 20 minutes. Hopefully they're not too strong, but I am close to the exit in case I need to get away. No, nope, they don't seem too bad. Though I do see something else sneaking up on me over here. Was that another wolf? What is that? Where'd it go? Oh, it's a deer. Come here, you. It didn't even drop me anything. Just realized I do have a map. I picked it up, forgot to ever look at it. Doesn't mean much to me now because I have no idea where I am currently. All right, I get it. This is where I was. This was the fort I did conquer. That is average difficulty. Things like this are high. The castle, that's high, high, high. So I might have to try some of these places. Accidentally found these guys who probably aren't going to be much of a fight, but we'll find out. Maybe they're stronger than they look. Okay, they're hitting really, really hard. Wonder where this is. Uh, yep, I forgot one hit to kill two people. That didn't work. Oh, there's a guy shooting me at the back. Maybe since I'm going to be out doing a bunch of killing, I should enchant my sword just to make it a little bit better. Magic power plus 8%, plus 6% weapon damage. I mean, that makes it slightly better. What we're going to do this time is head three spaces south to the point of interest, then over to the other point of interest and see what that gives us. This is the square that has the point of interest. Just got to find it somewhere out here amongst the trees. Think I found it. There's a dog and a man. So let's back up a little bit and deal with them one at a time. That yeah, should be far enough. Never mind. They're also all coming toward me. When is it point of interest? I thought it might be something not dangerous. You know, maybe it would just reward me with something. Nope. This time, let's maybe try this one. Three up, one left. On my way to the point of interest, I was being chased by some wolves and ran into some bandits, which doesn't seem very likely, but it sure happened. So I'm hoping they'll fight each other instead of me. Can you guys fight each other for a second? Can you seriously? Oh, they are fighting each other. Perfect. Okay, that bought me a little bit of time. Let's uh, figure out what we can do now. You know, we'll probably just die because they'll kill me in one hit. So, great. And this square should be my point of interest. There's a lot of snow or something on the ground, and I'm probably going to run into enemies that are going to murder me, but I made it here. Yep, there they are. It looks like an assassin. Let's just dive straight in. I always run away from these and they end up killing me anyway. Wow, I have no idea what just hit me, but it absolutely obliterated me. Kind of tough to make progress right now. Here's what I'm thinking to actually make some progress. After I've healed and saved, wander out into the wilderness, killing the first enemies I come across, taking whatever they drop. All right, so I had some idea what the next step was, how I was going to take this further. Went to hit play, and my save is incompatible with the current version of the game. And I'm just too lazy to do anything about that, so it's on to the next one. 